In the presence of God and before this congregation, Adam and Chloe have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. They therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. I'll give them a clap or something. <laughs> <laughs> I am the proudest father in the world today. Chloe, you look absolutely amazing. Thank you. As father of the bride, it's my dubious honor to make the first speech. Hello, welcome, and thank you for coming to this special occasion. In the time we've known Adam, we've come to realize how much he means to Chloe, what a caring and honest guy he is. Pete and Sally, your son is an absolute credit to you both. They're both so happy together, and I think the perfect match. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please raise your glasses to the bride and groom. On a serious note, Chloe means uh, absolutely everything to me. Um, it's not very often that you meet a girl as beautiful as Chloe, who, uh, who loves you as much as she does a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Four, five a day, what we are now. Um, yeah, I, uh, when I look at uh, both my mum and dad, and uh, Chloe's mum and dad, John and John, uh, all I wish is that me and you could be as happy as those two when we're as old as that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Adam, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There are no monuments dedicated to me, and my name will soon be forgotten. But in one respect, I have succeeded as glory as anyone who has ever lived. I've loved another with all my heart and soul, and to me, this has always been enough. 